Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. When we last left, we were just about to explore the cruise quarters. So, come on and play with me. Let's play Deliver Us the Moon. And see if we can't make it further into the Tombow reactor. Locked. Nope. Can't go that way. there. Uh, let's see what? Huh. No. Nope. Nothing here. Nothing here? Nope. Let's continue. Eh, nothing down here yet. Oh, this one's open. Wow. It's like they left in a hurry, but they had to leave such a mess. Toothpaste? Okay. From moon dust to MPT. M yeah, the MPT. Let's continue on. Oh man, new flame. Oh, turn. Oh, here we go. Any day to day things use 8662 to get into the storeroom, Isaac. Well, that's handy. Since we're here, let's look in here. Oh, that's the bathroom. Anything in here? Oh, what do we got here? Suspiciously hidden in the men's room, a whiteboard is filled with a number of disquieting calculations. Isaac Johansson's findings reveal a sobering conclusion. Given the reactor's production capacity and the limited amount of helium-3 on the moon, the MPT can't keep up with humanity's current energy demand. Humanity would have to change. Yeah. Showers. All right, let's go see if that code works. Down here. And 
the storeroom. Okay. Sleep quarters. Where do we use the code? Oh, let me turn my flashlight on. Panels to yeah, okay. We'll turn this one back on. I, thought, I sent you up there already, and there's no place to go. Can't put the code in there. That looks like the storeroom. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try again. Okay, it would help if I had looked both ways. Ah, uh, here we go. Ah, uh, here's the exercise room. Storage! Zero G rock climbing wall or one six G. Uh, what was it? Eight six six two. Reactor capacity at three percent. We're running out of time. There has to be something we've overlooked. We've checked the entire system. If we don't find a way in soon, Earth's lost. Sarah, it's... it's a wasteland already. Look, I know. We messed up. For centuries. But the MPT can buy us the time we need to make it right again. I'd like to believe that. We all believe it, Isaac. That's why the WSA exists. Or whatever's left of it now. What do we tell the people back on Earth? It You're wasn't fucked. supposed to be like this. MacArthur ordered everybody to load the helium in monorails and evacuate. I said the reactor was dangerous. And people followed him? They followed orders. Uh, but some didn't trust him. They resisted. So the people it didn't know where they were going. It escalated. There was fighting. He even crashed a monorail. What about the ASEs? MacArthur weaponized them. He could overload their safety limiters. But why? Why would he turn them on our own? He's a practical man. Never forget this. Because he had his plan and he wasn't going to let anything get in his way. Eye so long as he thinks he acts for the greater good. So that's what we'll tell them back on Earth. Our colleagues gave their lives for the greater good. Whatever that is. Hmm. I'm still missing three of those. And a bunch of those. I'm missing a lot of stuff. Okay, let's... Okay, so we... Oh, hey. I remember that thing. Okay. thing
Okay. Okay. I gotta remember. Oh, I gotta go back around to put maintenance back online. Okay. I gotta go back out this way. <clears throat> okay, how am I gonna get out of here? Let's see. <clears throat> oh, we got to get you in there. That's what we need to do. Okay. Um. Where are we going now? All oh, right, do this way. Hey. <clears throat>
Okay, let's see. Found our way out of the control center. Okay, boys. So they had a full-on revolt on their hands. That would explain what all the fighting was about. Why all the barricades? And everything's a mess. Holy cow! Okay, um, control center. Oh, inspect? What are we? What was I inspecting? What was that? Right here. Helium three. <coughs> Mick A will kill us. <coughs> So the people didn't know what was going on, and some of them didn't trust him. We have to get in now! I'm out of options. I've tried everything I know. Think! It's about to overload! Wait, didn't you say MacArthur overloaded safety limiters? Why are you talking about MacArthur? Alex, isolate encryption sequence 17B on the grid. Reactor capacity and zero point five. Got it. We're in. Now what? There's an emergency shutdown. Reactor deactivating. It worked. The reactor stabilizing. We're not done yet. The reactor hasn't been able to send the energy anywhere. So. Relief pressure The reserves are about to burst. We have to release the energy. How? A, a temporary transmission should send the. Ah! It's quiet. Finally. The reactor. Is it safe? It is. But the force has moved the MPT dish off its alignment. How bad is it? Can we realign it? The controls are up in the tower. But let's see if there's any helium left first. Okay, it looks like they saved the reactor. And an unconventional method, yes, yeah, sure. that's what you gotta do sometimes. Okay, um, what do we gotta do here? Find a way to exit. Check on the MPT in the control center. Okay. Diagnose. MPT reserve clip. Adjust alignment and MPT command. Reactor dormant. He retrieve additional helium free from storage. Insert helium three into the reactor. Check the storage area for helium three. All right, let's go. See if we can find out where storage is. That's the way we came. Alright. Research. Yeah, 
helium storage. Here we go. Another body bag. Man, Carthos a real dick. Is that the monorail they crashed? Caution, wet floor. Outward. Oh, I guess we're going to finally find out more about Outward, huh? That can't be good. There's no water on the moon. Outward. Read. East and west units cover the east and west sides of the top of the city, respectively. Phase one is split up into six steps. The malfunction has occurred in the reactor. Round top of employees in your area. Resistance may be met with force only if absolutely necessary. West unit assembles employees. Helium three to storage load all storage canisters. East unit needs employees to crew course and have them clear it out. Board employees under the minor wars, Eastern escorts them to Copernicus. West End splits up. Crews will make me one and two. Here's after the tunnel plays around Copernicus move, Carthur. Huh. Of water. People would kill for this on Earth. It's coolant. Water used for cooling the reactor. Some of the pipes must have burst. You think MacArthur left any helium? Uh, he wouldn't be so careless. But we should check, just to be sure. Go ahead, I'll join you in just a moment. Wait, where are you going? I'll assess the damage further on, see if the cooling is still operational. I'll be right back. With all this water, that's not working. Oh, there we go. Let's try that. Oh. <laughs> the rubber duck. This way. Okay. Nikki, something's off with the amount of moon rock we're putting in. We should be outputting a lot more helium-3 than what's listed on our charts. It says that if some of the helium is never registered. But that's against every protocol I can think of. Why would the Lunar Council sanction this, Julian? I'll admit the numbers are off, but let's not jump to conclusions. Dr. Johansson would never allow anything to jeopardize MPT's energy signal. He's too committed to Earth. Still has family living down there, just like most of us. 
I'm sure it's some kind of mistake. And no, it wasn't a mistake. It was not a mistake. <clears throat> MPT battery dish. Helium storage, here we go. Doors locked down, open doors. Canister C5 marked for repair. Okay, canister C5. Over the years, and off the wreck, small amounts of helium-3 were moved away from the Tombo facility to an unknown location. Slowly but steadily, the Lunar Council, Council amassed a sizable supply of helium-3 with which to fuel the outward journey. When Tombo was evacuated and MacArthur unaligned the MPT in Copernicus Moon Hub, causing the blackout, only a small amount of helium-3 was left inside the reactor. As it ran out, the reactor would have sustained permanent irreparable damage if it hadn't been for Sarah and Isaac. Reactor cooling. Oh, I remember this one. Oh, this one was a pain in the butt. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> okay, um... <clears throat> Well, there's a helium-3 canister. Backup power. Okay. But as soon as I do that, it's going to electrify this stuff. Alright. Where? Oh, there I am. And of course there's water in here, which doesn't...
It would be nice if I could see. Um, Now there might be an easier way to do this, but this is how I remember doing it last time. But I would wager there absolutely is an easier way. Okay, now if I put... There goes the electricity. I touch that, I'm dead. And I gotta get over there. Okay. As I recall, last time I was trying to use that to position to jump from one to the other, instead of jumping across there. Systems locked. Reboot all systems. Systems not nominal. Yeah. So now what? Look for Helium 3 in the monorail bay. So now I gotta go back. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I got about an eight count, a slow eight count. flashlight to recharge a bit. <laughs> One more. Yay! Monorail station. a number on this place, didn't they? Okay. I do remember we gotta send that thing crashing through here. Progress. Isaac? Hey! They took it all. <clears throat> Storage is empty and... What's going on? Uh, stay there. Stay there. I just need to, um... Is that helium? No, it's... It's... Sarah. Uh, it's for Kathy. Okay, she, she's waiting. She's on the Ark. Uh, and I just, I just need to, to get this to her. Isaac, what are you talking about? Uh, three, three. We made, we made, we made three arcs for outward. Yeah, they're gone. No, no, no. In the end, there was only enough fuel for two arcs. So, so MacArthur moved the uh, the sick, the the cryo patients, to to the last one. Uh, and Kathy, Kathy, she's still on the arc, stuck here on the move. Wait. But with this, uh, I can, I can. I Isaac, can... I'm sorry, but Earth is our first priority. Earth's beyond saving, Sarah. With or without the MPT, our only hope, Kathy's only hope is out. Listen to me. We cannot give up on Earth. It's our home. Kathy's home. And think about Claire. She's made her decision, and I, I can't go back to Earth. But with Kathy and Outward, there's a, there's a chance to start over, a new dawn. Yeah, we where? We must to Floating keep around endlessly in space? Don't understand. But we can be wrong, Isaac. You said it yourself. MacArthur's wrong. Sarah! Outward is wrong. Sarah! Everything about this is... <gasps> What's... <laughs> I... Uh, I... Uh, you, you must understand. I... Uh, I have to go. <laughs> Alex! Alex! 
X. X is that terminal. Send it off. Isaac! No, 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 no! Stay, stay with me. I'm sorry, Isaac. Okay, okay, come, come I'm so in. sorry about that. It's okay. It's okay. Don't, don't, don't worry. It's the only way I could help. Even if you'd hate me for it. <laughs> okay, easy now, Sarah. Listen to my voice. Don't, don't close your eyes. Hey, buddy. Sarah. Hey, hey, Sarah, no. Almost there. No, 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 no. Sarah? Sarah? It's okay. It's okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Alex. No one needs to see this. Yeah, they do. As Sarah rejoins Isaac, she catches him loading helium-3 tanks into a monorail. Feverishly, he argues that Earth is lost and helium-3 is better used for Kathy, who's on board the Ark that MacArthur left behind on the moon. With the argument reaches a fever pitch, Isaac stabs Sarah. Despite her grave injury, Sarah distracts him and secures the helium three out of his reach before she collapses. Recorded 5 October 2054, 12 days and 13 hours after the blackout. Life will find a way. Life will always find a way. A lot of times what mankind has to do is just get out of its way. And with that, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you all for watching. You are loved. You are valid. And to thine own self be true. Love you. Bye.